Hi everybody, this is Tom and Laura. Um, everybody's been asking for updates as to where we are at with the, the house fire. Uh, we're here today with Serve Pro. They're hoping to salvage a few things from downstairs where the smoke damage wasn't as bad. But as you can see from uh, the upstairs, upstairs here, our living room, um, smoke got everywhere and the fire heated the whole house up. The, the TV over there uh, melted. Um, and it was well, well away from the fire, which started over here in the uh, in the family room addition, which we can't even enter right now because it's still under investigation. But here's the kitchen. Um, I don't think we're going to save the microwave. But what wasn't smoke damaged or burned up is uh, now wet and frozen. Uh, we're still at the uh, uh, the residence inn in uh, Edina. We're doing okay for the most part. Um, still have uh, still get kind of sad about Stella, but we're doing okay. Um, just wanted to thank everybody really <clears throat> for coming together. Um, everyone, you know, uh, on Friday night two weeks ago when the fire happened, we thought they we were sure that Stella had made it out of the house because she wasn't in. She, three fire crews uh, went through. They couldn't find her. We went through twice looking in all her favorite spots. We weren't able to find her. Um, that's when we put the call out. We were sure she made it out. We were sure. And then uh, our, uh, <laughs> our, our very good and much more intrepid friend that I've gave her, given her credit for, <laughs> Veronica, crawled through the house, literally crawled under the house looking for her and, and found Mike her. And Mike and Lydia. And Mike and Lydia, yes, thank you guys. And found her. Uh, she was a small black dog, you know, covered by black charred remains of a house, so it's understandable. But we were really touched by how everybody came out and, and looked for her. Uh, uh, next steps. Um, we're still looking for a, for a home to rent temporarily until we can fix our house. Um, it looks like insurance is going to do okay. They're going to cover it, but it's still going to be... Six, six months at the super optimistic end, more like nine months, possibly 12, before we're back here. Trying to find a house in Richfield, Edina, Bloomington, uh, with four, ideally five bedrooms, with two, ideally three bathrooms, and that's a tall order anywhere. Um, but mostly, just want to thank everybody again for all the help trying to find Stella and the outpouring of support we've gotten online and on GoFundMe and... Um, you know, people just showing up with donations at uh, 7020 Oliver. Those are our friends over there, Peter and Michelle. Fireside. Uh, Fireside Foundry, you and guys Sandys. are awesome. Sandy's. Um, and just really, uh, it, it, it's, it's, we've been super touched. And oh, people have on. asked, people have asked, are you going to move or are you going to rebuild in Richfield? Well, <laughs> after the love we've gotten from all you guys, um, we have to stay. <laughs> um, so just once again, thanks. Um, it's it's been an, an agonizing and yet an amazing experience, mm -hmm. and we'll uh, we'll try and keep you guys updated uh, as as things progress. So thanks again. Uh, God bless everyone, and uh, take care. <laughs>